They arrived in Luton as refugees from Afghanistan, struggling to adapt to a new country. But now they've got a passion, a togetherness, and a real sense of identity. And it's all thanks to cricket. James Burridge has the story. An evening cricket match in the shadow of the M1 near Luton. There's everything you'd expect. Bat, ball and bravado. But there's something unusual about these teenagers. They and their families have fled the Taliban in Afghanistan. And cricket here has changed their lives. One of the players in the team is their captain, 18-year-old Arbaz. His family arrived here 10 years ago. Adapting to a different culture and community wasn't easy. It was hard for me because when I used to go to elite school, no English, nothing at all, trying to look one person to the mouth and another one, because the way they were speaking, I was a bit shocked. How am I going to learn this language? And then the school, the boys was getting bullied me sometimes. It was not bullied that much, but he was telling me, oh, you can't speak English, you can't do this, you can't do that. But in the beginning, you're gonna, it's going to be hard for you for like six months. Oh, how am I going to find friends? Oh, how am I going to learn the language? Who am I going to play with? Or where am I going to work with? Or what type of people is going to be? Are they, are they good people, bad people? Cricket has given him those friends and much more. Come on, let's make it yours, guys. Coach Amran Malik has been working with them for a year. James, come and meet my team. The most passionate cricketers you're ever going to come across. I'll introduce you to Usman. Usman, come here. Usman. He is a yeah. tremendous batsman. I mean, in 20 overs, he's, had, he's hit over 160 runs in a 20-over match. That is remarkable. And that just shows his, you know, his hand-eye coordination, passion. Unbelievable. Um, Fassel, come over, mate. Fassel. Uh, hey, James. Fassel, James. Hi, James. Fassel, again, another tremendous talent. Um, an excellent role model for the community. He helps in, you know, making the team come together. You know, because I've known them all on a personal level, so they've all shown me that respect, and I'm older than all of them. But they, they, they look up, look up to me in, in some way. I don't know why that is, but you know they do look up to me, and they will show me respect and give me a role of a leader. This is Shahid. Shahid is also Hi, Shahid. a key, key nice member of our team. We didn't have nothing, but now Alhamdulillah, he's making like teams and matches for us to play, play, go and play cricket. Cricket changed my life. That's it, lads, well done. Who's calling it? Beautiful, Albaz. Amran works with 150 boys and girls from 25 different ethnicities across Luton. He knows what it's like to feel like an outsider. His family originally came from Pakistan. When I look into their eyes and I see, you know, not only them being isolated and vulnerable, but I also see a lot of fear and, and when I saw these young boys, it almost brought my own background or my, because being born and raised in Luton, there was a lot of racism. And I know how it feels to be isolated and to be made vulnerable because I had like stones thrown through the window every other night being chased by dogs. So when I saw them, it almost, it all came back to me that these young, young kids are in the same position where I was once upon a time. And if I can help them overcome and, um, and face these challenges and give them a pathway, then I would have thought I would have done a good job. Training over, now it gets real. They're off to play their first match against a local village side. They've called themselves the Luton Blue Tigers, but the boys are feeling confident. They hit some terrific shots, but then the heavens open. Their chances are looking bleak. But Captain Arbaz leads an incredible fight back. Yes, come on, lad. You can do this. From nowhere, they win the match in the last over. Yes. A result that means everything. Skipper's innings. Yes. Yes. Legit, everyone did good. I'm proud of everyone. But inshallah, next time. 
We'll do it again. The time. skipper was man of the inning, right? Great game of cricket. We just got a Salvo Park cap to present to uh, our man of the match, which is about here. How about it, mate? Only going a year playing it to that standard. Oh, the excellent team. Um, some of the best cricket we've had up here all season. Great game, came down to the final over. And um, yeah, really enthusiastic, which is what we love to see. People who love the game and it was great joy playing them. A year ago, they were restless teenagers short on opportunity in a new country. Um, let's go through to the long run. Now they're a team. They have a passion and an identity. And it's earned them a very special trip. They've been invited to Lords, the iconic home of cricket. They've seen how welcoming the United Kingdom and England has been towards them. It's very, they've gone beyond what they could have imagined. They started to believe in themselves, and that's very important. Having aspirations, we've, we've been able to create that, realistic aspirations for them, that they can play the game and there are opportunities for them to develop as individuals and as cricketers. It's an honour to be here in the Lord's ground and some of the greatest, greatest players played here and walked through here and um, I walked on the same steps on them and this dream come true for me. Thinking like, oh, you know what, I, if I practice more and then have faith in myself, I'm, I'm sure that I can play here, hopefully. You know what, when I came inside the doors of the Lord's cricket ground, I was thinking like, I should push more, I, push, I should push harder. Cricket has changed my life a lot. Because before, all we did was just roam around the streets. That's all we did. And now, I'm not given us the opportunity to play cricket. And become as a team, come together and be a strong team and go outside Luton and be other teams. I'm really happy and amazed with what we have achieved. What an inspiring story. If you missed any of the programme, you can catch up with it on the iPlayer. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.